Hello and welcome to a little lesson on fractions of amounts. So I'm going to try and make this as quick and simple as I possibly can, how to answer these questions where you have to find a fraction of a quantity. So I'll start very simply with this first example. Um, the example one says find three tenths of 30. So the trick here, okay, that you always need to do, whatever this is, in this case, this fraction is three tenths, find one tenth of it. Okay, so just stick a one at the top. Find one tenth of 30. Okay, now what is that? Imagine that you've got 30 pounds or 30 dollars you have to share between 10 people. Okay, then all you need to do to work out what one tenth of that amount is, is to do 30 divided by 10, okay, which is three. So one tenth, so 30 dollars, 30, 30 pounds shared 10 ways gives you three each, doesn't it? Okay, all right, so once you know that one tenth of 30 is three through that division, Okay, then you just need to scale it up by timesing it by three to find three tenths of 30. Okay, and what's three? What's a three? We've scaled that one up as well. So one tenth of 30 is three. Three tenths, therefore, is three lots of that. Three times three is nine. Okay, so that's the first example. We'll move on to the second example now. One more. Okay, so same idea. This time we've got to find three quarters of 40. So again, all I'm going to do is just find one quarter of 40 by thinking, right, what is 40 divided by 4? 40 divided by 4 is 10, okay? And that's going to lead me nicely to look at what 3 quarters of 40 is. So 3 quarters of 40 is going to be 3 times that amount, because it's 3 quarters is 3 times bigger than 1 quarter. 10 times 3 is an answer of 30. Okay, and finally, example three. Example three. So this time it's a bit more difficult looking, um, but not really. We're going to find one eighth. So it's five eighths of one eighty. Uh, five eighths of eighty eight that we're going to find. First thing we need to do is to find one eighth of eighty eight. Eighty eight divided by eight, which equals eleven, and therefore five eighths of eighty eight is going to be five times bigger than that. 11 times 5, which gives us a final answer of 55. Okay, so very quick, very easy. Okay, my top tip is to find one um, eighth or one quarter, or one third, whatever it is, that denominator. Okay, do that first, and then you can just scale up, okay, by multiplying. And that's the easiest way to do those questions. If you enjoyed that, hope you did. Um, please don't forget to hit subscribe. Uh, it does help others to find my channel too. Okay, and you get all the next wonderful videos um, popping up for you too. All right, so good luck. All the best with your maths.